Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is another BMW video and uh, I would like to uh, mention that I have a playlist uh, about the BMW 4 series. So for those of you who are interested in this car, please check that playlist. I have some of my videos already there. So this is a 420D with the latest uh, diesel engine, so 2 liter. Uh, and it's uh, named B47 and uh, in this video I would like to share five things that I don't like about this car so in general overall I have to say that this is a very very good car and I am very satisfied with it but as any car as any motorcycle uh, it has also some downsides some negatives and uh, let's go and uh, check them so the five things that I don't like about this car I have to say that uh, I like this car very much in general and these five things just represent the minor uh, minor negatives I would say and uh, going from the first one but these are not uh, in particular order so I just want to mention them uh, as they come uh, from my head so the first one it's the sitting position so it is not uncomfortable but it's very weird that uh, if you are a bit taller like I am so uh, six foot one or 185 centimeters tall it is a bit uh, weird that uh, when you find the appropriate sitting position you cannot see this display so this uh, smaller display that it's just uh, behind the steering wheel so this is a bit of a downside for me i have to say and uh, that's why i'm using this uh, bigger display that it's on the right and uh, it is clearly seen uh, for almost everyone in the cabin so uh, this is a bit disappointing uh, and why it is so because uh, here you have the trip meter here you have the total mileage here you have also the uh, average consumption the instant consumption and so on it is also uh, very good that some of this information it's also on the big screen so you have the average uh, consumption you have also uh, the day uh, trip uh, kilometers and so on but uh, you have to go into the menu and you have to push some buttons and so on so it's not all the time on your eyes you know on the site I have to say so this is the first negative the second negative it's uh, the position of the rear seats so it is a bit hard to get out of the car so going inside it is uh, let's say an easy job but uh, going outside of the car it's a bit uh, complicated for those that are let's say uh, taller or let's say even bigger uh, I mean in terms of their bodies so uh, let's say that uh, for the rear seats it's the most appropriate uh, let's say for uh, children or let's say for smaller persons uh, otherwise uh, the comfort on the seat uh, on the seats back seats I mean and on the front seats it's uh, a good one I have to say it the third con it's the space in front of the passenger seat uh, here you can see that uh, only just a small amount of uh, let's say uh, objects or gadgets or anything that you would like to put inside goes really there so uh, if you have something to put inside let me just show you if you have something to put inside you can see that uh, if you have here just the manual and uh, some documents it is already full so this is a minor thing but I still believe uh, good uh, to mention about the fourth con uh, this is related to uh, 
smaller objects and uh, bottles and chocolates and so on you really don't have enough space if you would like uh, to put uh, something bigger inside uh, these uh, locations I have to say uh, maybe on the doors so uh, here you can just put uh, a half liter bottle and uh, there obviously cannot go a uh, one liter and half bottle so this is I would say a con and the last one it's about the engine uh, this is a wonderful engine it is uh, torquey enough it is powerful enough it has the punch and so on but uh, this engine it's uh, very loud and let's say uh, rush when you just uh, start it on a cold day and uh, you have a feel that uh, it is a huge and big diesel i mean a truck one and uh, this somehow ruins the feel of a of an elegant and sporty car so i know very well that diesels are not uh, sporty machines and so on just a, a bit of that refinement you know a bit of that elegant and uh, let's say uh, mild uh, sound would be a lot better i still know that diesels are in a way uh, let's say loud and so on but uh, it could be better i believe okay guys these were those five things that uh, i don't like about this car there is nothing more to say uh, i like very much this car in general this is uh, one of those cars that i really don't want to sell right now and uh, i am very very satisfied with it and uh, let's conclude it here so uh, if you are here for the first time check my other bmw videos or other videos in general about motorcycles and about similar topics uh, otherwise uh, put some likes and uh, subscribe if you are for the first time here so thanks for watching and till the next one